Hello there, my name is Willie Buckley. I'm a vet in practice in Riverview Veterinary Clinic in Bandon and I'm a member of the Technical Working Group of Animal Health Ireland. Today I'm going to present um, on uh, selective dry cow therapy and the helps that are there for farmers in order that they can do this successfully. We have a lot of our clients at present going through this process where you get a, a free funded consult with your vet where he comes out to you and talks to you. It's a, it takes about three hours he goes through your records, he observes your dry cow drying off procedure, you discuss the dry cow management, and then you come together and you come up with a plan for the next year. So to qualify for this, you, you must go into the Animal Health Ireland website and a certain criteria such as the average bulk milk sample, uh, bulk milk tank somatic cell count for the last 12 months must be under 200,000, and you must be milk recording, at least four milk records. You cannot qualify for this unless you're milk recording because you've no records to go on when you're trying to give advice. So the idea of this is we're going to select the cows that are most suitable for teat sealer only. And obviously on the other side of that, you're going to select the cows that are going to get antibiotics because they have evidence of infection during the previous lactation. And that will be shown out by either clinical mastitis records, um, milk recording records, or cultures and sensitivities. So when your vet comes out, he'll have to, he will have gone through a lot of your milk recording data. He will need to collate all the other information that you have. And then he will observe the drying off process. And the drying off process um, involves the vet, what, uh, the observation of maybe two or three cows, he watches you drying off the cows. And you work together, and if there's any little things that need to be clarified, or anything that needs to, to be, you know, perfected, He'll discuss that with you. The drying off process now is a surgical, uh, it's a surgical procedure. You have to be so clean in doing it. You have to do it right. You can't do too many cows at a time. You have to make sure that it's done correctly. So once you have this, I don't think, I think farmers, once they know how to dry off a cow properly and they've seen it done and they know what to do, I think this will be a process that farmers over one or two years will perfect very, easily. Now, what we, what the whole, with the whole process of what's happening now is that we can only prescribe for cows that are infected. You're only going to get antibiotic um, dry cow tube for maybe 20 or 30 or 40 percent of your cows in the farm at drying off. Now this is going to lead to you having the vast majority of your cows will have no antibiotic inside their other during the dry cow period which means if you dry, do the drying off process surgically and clean as possible, the next risk to your cow is during the dry cow housing. And what happens to them when they're dry on the lead up to calving? So it's essential that people um, have adequate dry cow housing. They need 110 cubicles per 100 cows. The, the, the scrapers or whatever form that you're cleaning your pa main passageways have to be done as often as possible. Your minor passageways need to be cleaned at least twice a day. You need to lime your cubicles. You need to have to be dry. Ventilation has to be correct. Um, if you have a loose coat, if you have a loose straw bed, you need adequate space and the bedding has to be dry. This is actually, I believe farmers will conquer the, the, the challenge of drying off cows properly and not putting in any bugs during the ceiling. This is the biggest challenge to farmers dry cow housing. In the past, cows were sealed and had antibiotic, blanket antibiotic dry cow tube. That made up for a lot of deficiencies in the housing. But no, this is going to be the focus on, you, you have a clean cow that has no infection, she's sealed off, you have to keep her without infection. And this is the critical area where, we're go where people are going to work on. It's going to be the biggest challenge for the next two or three years. Thank you.